The point of success menu buttons can have a number of button styles applied to them and to reach the button style window press F9 to go to run mode and then click the button style button on the bottom of the menu designer screen and then you can see all the available button styles. The two styles on the top, standard and flat, will make the menu run faster. If you have a higher performance computer and you like the look of the curve out or curve in style, you can select those. But you can see by clicking on a button the clicked and unclicked version of that button. The standard style, notice, has a drop shadow on the right and on the bottom of the button. And when you click it, the drop shadow is on the top and the left. This is to give a 3D look to the standard style button. The flat style button has no 3D and all the edges of the button look the same. Let me show you how the flat style looks if you change the menu to flat style. Let's go back to button style and now I'll show you what it looks like when we change to curve out style. So now all the buttons have a 3D look with a curve out style and it takes a little longer to render these buttons. You can see when we um, change to other screens on the menu how long the buttons take. Now this, it's not real noticeable, particularly if you have a faster computer well, like the one that we're doing the menu training on. Let's change the button style back to the standard style. Save that. You can also change the color and font size on any of your buttons. To do so, press F9 to go to the design mode and then double click on a button to bring up its properties window. The colors and style tab will allow you to change the text color on the button and the, and the face color on the button. So for this example, let's leave the text color black and change the face color to turquoise. And save that and notice now that this button is blue. Changing colors on buttons can help you visually group them. For example, if you wanted to change the Asian chicken salad or if you had a number of salad selections on your menu, change those to green. Double click that, go to the colors and styles menu and choose a green button for the salad so you can denote that that is a green item, change pizza to red, uh, etc. So that's how you change the button color. And you can apply the color settings to both the text and the face of the button. We can also change the text size. In this example, our text size is 14, but now let's make this text size 12 instead. Save that, and notice that the text on the button is smaller. So you can change the button text to meet your own requirements if you don't want the text as large as the standard text. So let's change the color back to default. You just click this button at the top, change the text size to 14, and save that. Again, let's change the breadsticks back to the default color for the button and the text. Save that. And now our menu is back like it was before we started.